Hi there, I'm Tracy Matthews of Flourish and Thrive Academy, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about the essentials to designing a better line sheet that buyers notice. When I started wholesaling my jewelry collection back in 1998, I had the crappiest line sheets. It's amazing that I sold anything from them. In fact, just so you can learn what not to do, you can see some of my shameful first line sheets here. Attracting a buyer's attention back then wasn't as difficult as it is these days. And somehow I made loads of sales with crappy line sheets. But the times have changed and having a beautiful line sheet is a key consideration for buyers choosing whether or not to include your jewelry into their assortment. One of the most powerful selling tools for wholesale is the line sheet. It's often one of the first touches a buyer might have checking out your collection. And it's also how they'll order their designs for their store. You might also be wondering, how can my line sheet stand out so that buyers notice my collection? Well, here are the essentials to designing a better line sheet that sells. Number one, great product photography. Your jewelry photography is key to getting the attention of buyers. Photograph your work on a clean, preferably white background so the images are easy to position in the line sheet framework. Stylized photos and lifestyle shots are great for showing how to wear the look. However, the main image should always be easy to understand and on a white background. Number two, a clean format. You don't want anything to distract buyers from admiring and purchasing your work. Overcrowded pages in a difficult to digest format will repel buyers from investigating more. Beautiful jewelry is no longer enough. Your line sheets need to be visually enticing to grab your buyer's attention. Number three, make color options and metal types evident. If you offer a variety of colors or stone types, make sure you have a color key or the like so buyers can easily reference your color options and metal types. Number four, wholesale pricing. Remember, line sheets are typically used for the wholesale trade. Your catalog might look similar, but a line sheet is really for buyers to quickly reference designs, colors, and pricing. Make sure you either include the prices with the images or have an easy to reference addendum at the back of the line sheet. The best option is to include the pricing with the actual image. In the case of fine jewelry, volatile markets might mean that the pricing changes with the markets. An addendum in the back of the line sheet works really well in these cases. Number five, contact details. Make sure your wholesale contact, ordering, email, and wholesale website details are on every page of your line sheets. Making the buyer's job easier is the key to your success here. Plus, if the line sheet gets split up, your buyer still knows it's your collection. Number six, a title page. The first piece of your line sheet should be the perfect opportunity to show some stylized shots of your work or some beautiful model lifestyle shots. The title page should also have your contact details, ordering information, website details, your phone number, and press inquiry information. Number seven, artist bio and picture. The second page of your line sheet should include an artist bio and a picture. Here's your opportunity to showcase who you are as a designer. Don't skip this. Number eight, policies, terms, and conditions. It's a great idea to include your ordering and cancellation policies, delivery timeline, your payment terms, and other conditions that apply somewhere in the line sheet. My favorite place is at the end of the line sheet. The art of mastering wholesale is tough. Remember, your line sheets make an impact on a buyer's decision to invest or pass on your line. We wanna hear from you. In the comments below, answer the following questions. In what ways do you wanna improve your line sheets? And which of these line sheet aspects have you mastered the most? If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like the video and follow our channel. You can also share it with your friends and then join us over at flourishthriveacademy.com for more jewelry business advice and support.